The studio lighting class is one of the last classes that a photography major takes and it's kind of a culmination of what you've learned in the previous classes, the beginning basic classes, um, that you're putting that knowledge into use. Part of it is also introduction of new techniques, which is being a studio lighting class that the students learn how to use studio strobe uh, flash systems. They get to do location shoots, uh, work in a studio environment. This is a new um, study here at Parkland, um, which I think is awesome because um, if you're really interested in doing photography, I think you learn so many techniques and so many different things and great people. Um, I think it's a great way to start out. Hoping to get a strong learning of how to set up the lights and uh, what kind of lights you need for certain situations. Um, just a lot about setting things up and being compatible with your uh, situations that you're in. You learn a lot. It's not just about setting up you know, different equipment. You learn a lot about uh, the history of photography, uh, history of the lighting of photography. You learn about a lot of other things and it's not always just hands-on. If they have no background experience in working in a studio or if they've ever been exposed to studio lighting, um, it gives you a place to actually have your own kind of personal studio and you get to have your own shoots and it's like you're running your own studio and you can have other students in the class as your helpers and you get a lot of feedback from everybody and it's just a very um, personal setting. It's a smaller class and it's you really feel a sense of community and you, you learn a lot about what you want to go into. In the studio lighting class assignments cover things like still life. Uh, they also are doing images that are not necessarily portrait images that we do headshots. Uh, we are also doing environmental uh, portraiture which is going into a location to photograph a person whether they work in an office or work in a store, work in a fast food restaurant and sort of show uh, the environment that they work in. We don't necessarily work just with people, we do also work as I said with the still life so that they can get a broad knowledge so that from this point they can go on and photograph with a uh, studio photographer who's doing products or can work with a studio photographer doing portraits.